and my audio was off the entire time. So, hey there, Chloe Lewis here. It's been two minutes and 40 seconds. I have had no audio for this video. I might cut the video. I usually don't cut the video, but because I might cut the video, let me just try and start again. So, hello everybody, Chloe Lewis here, founder of the Barbara J Foundation. Um, I just bought this NFT, but welcome to Coffee with Chloe in the morning. <laughs> I moved my mic on top of my, uh, I guess my second computer. I have a few computers in here. I have my Mac, which is for streaming. I have my little HP server, uh, which is for running an ETH node one day. It still works. It still runs. It has a lot of storage, a lot of RAM. Um, but it's just old, can't run things very quickly, high performance. Then we have the new server, very excited about her. Um, she is currently running a testnet node uh, for the near blockchain, uh, near validator. So we're going to be, uh, our proposal is going to be accepted soon to be in the validator set. And then we're going to be validating on testnet, earning more near, which is super exciting. Um, yeah, so <laughs> let's. So we have this NFT, we just purchased it. Um, history, woohoo, marmorj.near bought it. Um, it was it was submitted to the Marmorj Chan submission form. Uh, glad to be picking it up now. Um, I guess after the main submission's over. Uh, while I was muted, I did also say that I kind of wanted to put an offer in for one of these. Um, if the screen will load. Here we go. There's a bunch of Marmor J chans available. Um, I like starting off today going through Paras, kind of just going through what's available. I'm probably going to place an offer for this one for like 2.19. Um, and then perfect. Hopefully they'll accept our offer. We are already switched to the near uh, app on the ledger. I dislike profusely starting my streams with um, the audio off, but it happens uh, more than I would care to admit, but it's something I'm definitely trying to work on. That's kind of why I have the audio streaming, but again, having headphones in and listening to what like some monitoring or some feedback might be helpful too. These streams are meant to be pretty low key. So this game is Pixel Pets. You take three pets, you fight against another random opponent of three pets um, in a certain like league or category as you. Uh, when you win, you get you go up in rank. When you lose, you go down in rank. Um, it's relatively fun. It's fun seeing what my new evolutions are going to be for my pets. Um, as you get high ranks, you gain more pixel tokens, which you can sell or use to upgrade your pets. It's pretty fun. They're having a pre-sale soon and a new game coming out. My Crypto Heroes. Excited about that, I suppose. Um, I, I like gaming in general, and blockchain gaming is just pretty cool because you can find a game that you like to play for fun. And then, you know, I think it's more... It's less about earning and more about um, ownership. So play to earn or playing to earn is fine. It's great. I mean, it's better than, I guess, playing to not earn anything. Um, but uh, if it's not fun, it's kind of pointless. And so to me, it's less about playing to earn and more about playing to own. Um, owning part of the game that you really enjoy, excuse me. Marmor J token is quite a bit of volume in the past 24 hours, like $20,000 of volume yesterday. Uh, token price is not doing that hot. Um, I'm assuming might be because of Skyward sellers. I was looking at the Explorer a bit, trying to see um, you know, why the price came down so much, but I generally don't mind what the price is either. Uh, our main goal is to keep it around the price of near, but a bit higher. And so we're, we're hitting that for now. Uh, Nier's at 9.9, .9, around 10, and Marmorj is around 13. So Gitcoin came down a bit, which might have 
uh, brought Marlene down as well. On ref, we can kind of go look at our farms. We earned 11 cents here. Woohoo! $16 over here, though, so not bad. And that's $16 worth of tokens. So I'm earning um, a bunch of tokens in this ref W near farm. DBIO, Aurora, Pulse, Paras, and Ref. Um, when I hit claim all on the left-hand side, you'll see these uh, rewards tick up. And these $10 of Aurora tokens, for example, I could deposit them here and add to what's going on here. Wait. Oh, Aurora's at $10 and 0.4 is... Four point seven dollars. Okay, that makes a little more sense than what I was thinking. I'm gonna leave this alone for now. I reinvest, uh, I guess, a reasonable time frame. We have forty-two bucks here, so we could have some fun reinvesting a dollar here, but we'll do it later, maybe. I don't worry too much about what's on the near blockchain when it comes to reinvesting and yield farming. I kind of just like to 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 adapt to the near ecosystem. So, uh, Wana's doing quite well. I think my first video about Wana, the TLV, total value lock, was around 8 million or 6 million. Now they're at around 54 million. Um, you know, the pending rewards is $243 uh, value of Wana tokens. And Wana tokens have gone up quite a bit since my first video. So, I was sitting here doing videos selling Wana tokens at 13, uh, 30 cents. Um, I knew that was a bit low, but we kept selling anyways. Um, oh, selling half. So usually, usually anyways, it was selling half the tokens and then reinvesting. Uh, a large part of the investment was just selling it for die and near. That's just to make sure that we had some stability in our investment as well. It's not all about mooning, but a good chunk of the tokens we did keep and reinvest into the wana near pair um, but we sold quite a bit of wana uh, to be fair we didn't keep that much of it later on around a dollar sixty or so after i felt as though okay we have a lot of near and eth in the near eth pool we have a good amount of die and near in the die w near pool and the rates there are quite good 109 percent and 172 percent they've actually come down quite a bit but they're still pretty good uh, then we started keeping quite a bit in the Wana pair. So we have about two and a half, uh, 1,161 shares, okay, staked in the Wana pool. Uh, so basically you take Wana, you stake it, you earn more Wana, um, and then you take your Wana X and you stake it again in the farm. So been doing that with a good chunk of the funds from about 160 to two dollars in my opinion um above a thousand tokens is probably more than enough what i've kind of decided in general to do now is keep holding wana you know long-term investment but sell half for usdt now i know i'm gonna look Wana's gonna be like ten dollars soon and you'll be like, oh my gosh, I sold one at $2 and then now it's 10. That's okay. Um, Wana could also go to 30 cents if we had a bear market. And I can always reevaluate what's going on. But the majority of these pools are going to be auto compounding on Vaporwave. And the idea here is that because they're auto compounding, this pool is always going to be buying back a little bit of wana as well as usdt so the reason i'm okay with selling some wana to add to the pool is because hopefully the idea is it's going to be buying back wana with the rewards and even if wana doubles in price at the current reward weight we would be going we'd, we'd, we'd be okay even with impermanent loss in 30 days so if Wana goes to $4 in, in 30 days or like 20 days, we're good. If Wana goes to $4 in less than 20 days, then we lose out. But that seems reasonable to me. We're earning along the way. Um, we could earn here instead, but it is what it is. I think 
uh, 1,000 tokens is more than enough for now. And so, but as I said, we are still going to always stake around 20% of our WANA. Okay, so we're going to, the, the, the main goal here is, again, just in case uh, WANA does go to $10. Again, not financial advice here. But if it does go to $10, we want to make sure that we're always kind of, or, you know, we want to invest in the long term um, of the WANA project. So to be able to vote in the future, to be able to have a say in how, uh, in how the, the project is governed. For that reason, particularly, we want to make sure we're always holding a, a little bit more WANA over time. But we also want to make sure that we're setting things up for the long term stability of the Marma J Foundation, which is the most important part here. So, you know, losing out on 7x. 6x gains from 30 cents to two dollars sucks yes but knowing that we are we're diversifying our assets and you know so we have a good amount of ether near which in my term is long-term crypto for the future a good amount of die near which you know uh near is quite volatile and so earning on the volatility there um a, a little bit of, a little bit of funds in long-term wanna um investment i suppose you can call it that and a little bit just in the uh, you know betting on the volatility of wana and hopefully um earning enough rewards to offset the price spike but we are going to still continue selling the wana because that is what we do we are not here in my opinion to go for as much uh earnings as possible which i guess could be interesting but very stressful as well so for example i always laugh with my fiance and i was like oh man we could have we she's trying to buy a house and stuff and i was like oh you could have just put um you know a few, a few thousand dollars into one at 30 cents and you know sold now at two dollars and whatever whatever and the reason why it's mostly a joke is because I don't really trade like that um, anymore. I used to be a full-time trader and that was like all we'd, all we'd try and do was like, you know, can we find, um, you know, the, the token that'll go 5X and you just move your money from one thing to the next thing. And when you think about it, like you only need a couple of three or four X hits with your fund. So if you have 1,000, you go 5X, you have 5,000, you go 5X again, you have 25,000, you go 5X again, you have 100 and... 25,000. Um, but then all of a sudden you go 5x again and you're only you're above half a you're, you know, above half a million. So uh, three or four or five x's is pretty reasonable in crypto. I mean, you could have just went from Nearpad to Tri Solaris to Wanna Swap and done 30, 40 x, uh, like maybe 20, 30, 20, 30 x in total. So definitely not that difficult, but it's very stressful because you make one bad mistake, you hold too long. And that could become detrimental to your holdings, um, but really, if you're doing this full time, I, I would, I would, I mean, full time can mean twenty hours a day, but still, I would say that it's not that hard to keep up. So, for example, we're almost at a thousand dollars in staked rewards here currently. So we're at. Oh, it went to the bottom. How did I do that? Oh. APR tick. So we have around a thousand dollars here for each thousand. We'll get around twenty-five wana per day, which is around fifty dollars per day. Um, so not bad for a thousand bucks. You can make fifty a day. That is arguably like what a lot of people make working all day long. Um, so that's why we keep some funds in this pool. Again, I like to me we're playing with rewards right now. So. Um, all the funds here came from rewards. Um, actually, all the funds for all of these pools came from rewards. This one uh, came from rewards. This one is actually our funds, um, the ETH and the NEAR. Um, some of that came from rewards, but generally that's just our funds that we had. And then this as well all came from rewards, which is nice, which is, you know, cool. So we have a little bit of uh, near try LP and a little bit of wanna near um, wanna swap LP um, 
which again, but this rebuys the tokens here. So you put in Wana and Near, and it'll rebuy more and more Wana and Near. So if you see here, it's 668,366. Tomorrow when I do a video, you'll see this is going a bit higher. It'll probably be at 670,000 or above. Um, 2 billion percent AP, APY, which is insane. Um, and wanna swap keeps going higher, which is also insane. Um, so in my opinion, for this pool especially, it's amazing when I like this pool because it's great when near dumps. Um, because the rewards are always being used to buy back wanna and near LP, as near goes lower, it's buying back near cheaper near pumps later on, which I, I believe long term, we're talking like a year, two year, three year time frame. I think near is the most secure asset to be trying to gain more of or hold. So that is things. Um, gonna end the video there, 18 minutes, keeping them nice and short now. We cut out a lot of the um, dApps we were using. So we're using Trisolaris and Nearpad and stuff before. Um, currently keeping it pretty simple with just wanna swap. It worked the most efficient from what I tried so far. And then for the auto compounding, Vaporwave also seems to work pretty well. They have an audit going through right now. So that because of their audit, they're gonna be uh, updating all of these vaults. So they have some Trisolaris vaults. Um, so you can look at Trisolaris here. Uh, they have some Trisolaris vaults and they have, which is pretty cool because now they have um, double vaults, which I think is super cool. They'll give you um, Trisolaris and Aurora tokens in these, I don't know. Okay, so yeah, they're giving you 50% APR on Aurora and 1,000 APR on Tri. They, they updated that a lot, that's crazy. Um, oh, that's on the Tri Aurora pool well that's very interesting try aurora that's a, uh, interesting um but anyways <laughs> uh that's the video um excited for vaporwave so soon uh, i'm gonna put all these pools into vaporwave so eth near we buying back eth and near die and near we buying back die and near wana and usdt will be buying back wana usdt and the only pool that's not gonna stay in vaporwave my uh right now where i would like to be is the wana x pool where each day i'll put like t uh, minimum 10 percent of what we earn back into the pool and the other 40 percent will do whatever with um yeah so Tomorrow, I'll do something about, talk about mainnet validator, but we have a testnet validator running, which is super cool um, for the Marmaduke Foundation. I'll talk about that more later. But yeah, see you all, everyone. Sorry for starting the video with no audio, but I will probably try and cut that out. <laughs>